Everyone has a particular terpene they might be more interested in. And here on Debaco University, there are specific videos on terpenes. This video, though, is looking at just common terpenes, looking at providing with some great information. Uh, it is a general overview looking at the common terpenes so you can develop a better understanding in general of each. If you have interest in one or two in particular, search the channel. You might find some more detailed information on that particular terpene that is of interest to you. All right, let's go over some common terpenes here. So we hear a lot about terpene profiles and profile charts, uh, like this table or wheel, provide an easy visual understanding in general which terpenes produce particular effects. So you might hear a full spectrum terpene profile that's basically producing a little bit of all the terpenes or a partial spectrum terpene profile where only a few select ones might be present in the particular end product. So terpenes in temperature. So Terpenes have different molecular structures, so their boiling points will vary. Some terpenes require high boiling uh, points to turn into vapor, while others are in ineffective at high temperatures, with the same holding true for cannabinoids. So here's an example that THC's boiling point is 315 degrees Fahrenheit, and Lanal's uh, boiling point is 388 degrees Fahrenheit. As a comparison, if you're familiar with other terpenes, we could see some here pining very low temperature, relatively speaking, compared to THCV having a very high temperature here for boiling points of different compounds. So this does play into a factor, particularly those looking at turning them into a vapor. What temperature you have that uh, vapor set at is going to impact the availability potential, the effect that you may be getting from that particular terpene. Might be a little bit more difficult to get uh, pinene and THCV activated at the same time because of just the span of temperatures that they have here. We also see our THCV and then um, the kind of other colder temperatures to warmer temperatures here, relatively speaking. All pretty hot. We're talking about degrees Fahrenheit considering water boils at 212. So here's just some more information. And again, the goal here is to provide you with some great information. Uh, I'll shrink myself down. Uh, and I put myself right up here in the corner. So if you want to pause the video or always look in the description for a link to the slides as well as resources, if you want to download any of these yourself, you're more than welcome to. Um, this is just to provide you with that general guide in comparing different terpenes. Again, more videos on this channel will cover them in a little bit more detail, but this just gives you a nice general comparison. Uh, also some common terpenes. These are ones that will be discussed in other videos. Uh, so kind of that quick visual. Uh, if any of these you want to research further, search the channel. Hopefully you'll find a video with some more information that you find helpful for you. Uh, however, when scouring the internet, there can be helpful information and there can also be um, inaccurate or what's basically unhelpful information. Uh, keep in mind that indica sativa only has to do with plant morphology and not chemical profile. So when we're talking about indicas and sativas, yes, taller, slimmer, longer leaves are sativas, shorter, bushier plants that are often wider are indicas. When we're talking about head highs versus body highs, sleep aids, creativity, daytime, nighttime use, none of this has any validity comparing an indica to a sativa. Uh, indica sativa only has to do with the morphology, not the chemical profile of the actual plant. Uh, looking at this research article here to get into some more um, information, this is another great research article to kind of look at. Some of the information was pulled from it, but if you want to look at it for yourself, here is the proper citation. So here we see again some more um, charts and comparisons. So great research article here. Now here we're seeing some more charts and comparisons, again, just presented on that research table, looking at pharma pharmacological activity, uh, synergistic cannabinoids, as well as where you commonly may encounter them, the general structure, and the, terp the terpenoid name listed here. Chart was a little big to put on just one slide, so this is one slide, and this is the second slide there, giving you the full kind of um, gamut of everything. Keep in mind, some are not well completely understood, but um, definitely gives you at least a good starting point, as well as many of these discussed in other videos here on Debaco University. 
Now, common uh, terpenes for the ones, if you really want to learn about them in more detail, uh, these are individually covered. So probably just type in one of these names into the search on this uh, channel. Should be able to find the information you're looking for. But again, for as far as a comparison, quick little rundown of the terpene, where you're likely to find it, therapeutic effects, and the aroma typically associated with that particular terpene. Very complex, a lot of people great interest in this. Uh, so hopefully this provides you with a little more information.